All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Mateo. Uh, welcome back. It is Sunday. Uh, it's not so much going to be a Sunday stream as much as it is I'm going to respond to some comments coming from our libertarian friends. Um, I imagine a lot of the people who listen to our channel are libertarians. Um, for whatever reason, some of the comments presuppose that perhaps I'm not a libertarian. Uh, there's a subtle accusation in some of these comments that we're going to get to. Um, but just so that you guys know, that is my background. Uh, I don't think I would have found Monero if it wasn't for uh, me being a libertarian first off and having that intrinsic skepticism of the government, especially the government that is in charge right now, not only of our country, but your country as well. I think that what we're seeing right now is a kind of coordinated global government, which just has not yet been realized in any kind of legal formation yet. Uh, I do believe that there is a kind of global government which already exists. Um, and that can be intuited by the movements in concert that the countries seem to have with one another one another and you can definitely see this in Europe with uh, the lockdowns and with the introduction of the passports and things like this as well as climate change and many other uh, initiatives happening right now but my background is a libertarian uh, and maybe I came to libertarianism because I'm just naturally skeptical and I naturally ask many questions and try to get to the truth of matters. And I suspect that many of you are the same way, which is why uh, you found Monero, which is why you found perhaps this channel. Um, but I do want to go through some of that today. Um, because some people seem to have this perspective that it is wrong for me, even though I'm guiding you to Monero, or at least I'm, if you're not being guided my, by me to Monero, be, watch me for entertainment or something like this. Um, that's one thing. But I'm trying to guide many t people to Monero and, and make that case. Um, I'm not trying to just sit around and circle jerk with a bunch of people in Monero. I mean, there's no utility in that. I'm trying to reach new ears. But some of you have this perspective that uh, even though I advocate for Monero, I advocate for people building parallel economies and getting off the system. Some of you are like, well, why do you say to people comply with the law? Why do you say to people pay your taxes? I mean, you recognize in your videos how tyrannical the government is. You recognize how evil it is and how it's going to cause civilizational collapse in the foreign wars. And yes, I know, I know, I know all this stuff perfectly aware why do you advocate for this on camera for the world and unfortunately i have to make a video to respond to this now many of you are uh thankfully graced with enough common sense to where you don't feel a need to ask this kind of question and the people who comment on my channel in regards to these questions i mean uh, perhaps they think they're the only libertarians watching this channel. Uh, but in fact, I know many of you, many of you are uh, anarchists, and I have good relations with many of you. And, you know, look at this hat. I have donned this hat at certain occasions, this pirate hat. You may notice this anarchist logo right here. Although as I move deeper into orthodoxy, uh, there is some confliction that there seems to be uh, with orthodoxy and anarchy. Um, but that's something I have to explore. My background is being anarcho-capitalistic, though. But we'll talk about that today. Many of you uh, don't ask me this question because you kind of assume the obvious. I'm on camera, and I have to tell you to pay your taxes. Lest the channel gets shut down, I get penalized as a tax professional, and then I get arrested. That seems obvious to you, <laughs> and it should be obvious to you, but for some people, I guess it's not. So let me just respond to these comments so that when I get these comments, as I expect to invariably in the future, I can just lead them to this video. So this guy perhaps said this as a joke, or maybe he backtracked this. 
But Diario, he said, I love how you expose them as criminals, which they are, with their tyrannical bad intentions and everything, yet you advise to still comply. Then why do we even need your videos? Comply, guys, comply. They're going after you. Be careful because you have to comply. Okay, so why be careful at all? Um, so I had the obvious response. Cool, so you want me to advocate for breaking the law on camera is what you're saying. Uh, and then he says, yes, pretty much. Seriously, I understand that can't be said. Well, I mean, perhaps not. I mean, I don't know why you would even spend the time to ask such a question if you already understood that. But then he says, I just find it hilarious that we're discussing uh, about protecting ourselves from people that want to take our money from us, but yet we have to advise to follow what those same people tell us to do. What's so hilarious about this? They have the guns. You understand this, no? <laughs> I mean, uh, as we both know, we may incur trouble if we don't. May? What do you mean may? I mean, to you, it's may, because you're just an anonymous person on the internet. To me, it's I will. <laughs> I am a registered tax professional licensed by the IRS. And I, I've said this multiple times. Uh, maybe he was not aware of this. But for me, it's not may. It's will. I will get in trouble if I say this. And the channel will be shut down. I won't be able to continue to tell people about Monero. I won't be able to continue to tell people to get off the system and get assets into their own possession uh, because I'll be in jail. Or at least I'll be fined to the point where, uh, you know, I, I won't have the ability to continue this channel. Uh, or the channel will just be shut down because I'm explicitly advocating for something illegal on the channel. Like, certainly, you see the issue with this. Uh, as we both know, we may incur trouble if we don't do otherwise. We also know that if government decides Monero becomes illegal, then you're breaking the law. And you shouldn't even advise to trade and hold Monero. Well, we're a while away from that, in my opinion. Now, if that does happen, um, I'll still be able to have the channel and speak in a speculative fashion about what people could do to get Monero. Uh, it, it, you know, it could be like one of those Vice videos. This is how criminals uh, get substances off the dark web. We're not advising you do this, but this is how they do this. This is just documenting what they're doing. You know, we could maybe do something like that. Uh, there would be ways to do it. At that point, would I do it? Probably not. I mean, I don't even know if I want to do this for too much longer anyway because uh, uh, I'm, I'm not seeing too much worldly hope that we're going to turn things around. Uh, I believe the great tribulations are coming. Why am I spending time doing this when I should be praying and repenting? Um, I, I don't know. That's something I ask myself every day, to be honest with you. Uh, but we'll get to another reason why I ask myself that in another comment that I received from this gentleman here. Zenor Nelder. So he says, brother, if you love Christ, how is paying extortion fees, taxes, which governments use to terrorize and enslave people in faraway lands? Well, it, it's not even faraway lands. They do it here. I don't know why we have to speculate about faraway lands as well as their own people. Okay, so he says it in line with that. Okay, so you see the sort of satanic accusative nature coming out here. Now, he says it in the context of a question, and I'm glad to see curiosity at least enter into the mix. It's not totally accusative, but you can kind of sense and you can kind of uh, intuit the accusation in here. It says, okay, you're a Christian, you're supposed to love Christ, but here you are telling people to pay taxes to governments that terrorize, enslave, and kill people. Clearly, that's not Christian. So, that is something that I've run into consistently. Uh, you know, I'll do a video, for instance, on Haven Protocol, which I've received unbelievable flack for. I, I don't know why. Um, and I do know it's not as good as Monero. I, I don't know how many times I need to say this, but nevertheless, you do get uh, haters. Uh, and we'll talk about that here in momentarily. But um, there is this one person named Gionic. Uh, and this person 
seems rather needlessly hostile and antagonistic to not only me, but quite a number of other people in the uh, sphere. But he had alleged some conspiracy uh, where I was working with Cake Wallet, my sponsor, to pump the price of Haven because the same day that I did the video, uh, Cake Wallet had announced that they're going to be perhaps integrating uh, Haven Protocol with ThorChain. Uh, because these are people with vision. These are people who want the same thing that we genuinely do here on the channel, which is human liberty, human freedom, I think. Um, we'll speculate that's the case, but they have vision, right? Um, plus, they're trying to run a business. Presumably, this would be something profitable for them. But we'll just speculate, and I think this is accurate, that they want financial freedom for people. I think they understand that this is important. But nevertheless, this person alleges a conspiracy against me and says that I am conspiring with Cake Wallet, my sponsor, to shill Haven and to pump Haven uh, and to make money. Now, to believe that me, with my 800 subscribers, could affect a market with 200 to $300 million of capital is rather genuous. Uh, I, I do appreciate you thinking that I have that amount of influence. I don't think I do. But just thinking about this and responding, I said, there's no reason to think I was in any kind of conspiracy. This doesn't make sense. And then he moved on to another topic saying, well, in the video title, uh, you're saying this will change everything. You're using capital letters. You're baiting and switching. And then he uh, you know, put some Protestant article up and I, I had to humbly tell him, look, uh, I'm Orthodox. And again, I'm not seeing what the issue is here. I mean, this is just how you advertise YouTube videos. This is uh, not necessarily dishonest. I mean, when I said this will change everything, I put it in quotes, as in this is what people are saying. And perhaps, again, he didn't understand the nuance of this. I, there are some things that I just don't feel like I have to explain, but I, I do, unfortunately. But he then said, would Jesus really do this? Would Christ really uh, put this in his title of his YouTube videos? Would he advocate for something like Haven Protocol? Right. So uh, he was using my faith against me. Uh, to make a particular point, which goes to indicate he's not trying to change my mind as much as he's trying to actively hurt me, because he's a hurt person. Um, and when you try to hurt a Christian, it's not that we are hurt as a result of your action against us. We hurt because we see your hurt in you, and you hurting other people hurts yourself. It hurts your soul. Um and I've also received this from other people in the Monero community. I mean, the Monero community, there are some segments of the Monero community which are just downright hostile. Uh, and they've been hostile to me. And I can actually say quite confidently that the Pirate Chain community and the Haven community have been much more, uh, well, I won't say much more, but they have been, from my experience, more appreciative of the work that I've done on this channel, even though most of the work that I've done is for the uh, Monero Bros and for the project. But I'm not saying that in any kind of passive-aggressive way. That's just what I've noticed. But going back to the original point, um, don't do this. Don't use people's faith against them in order to make what is ultimately an ancillary and immaterial point. And notice how there's no mercy in this comment here. There's no mercy at all. There's no thank you for, you know, sacrificing your time, your money, and your life in order to uh, get the word out about Monero and to tell people about uh, this project, which could help protect their funds, get their money off the system, uh, survive in in an increasingly apocalyptic world where you can't go to the store unless you have the mark of the beast. Good for you for doing that, but let me just comment on this. No, there's none of that. It's, let me just nitpick you on one little thing that you're saying in your video here, 
which if you said could probably get you arrested, but let me make this point. And he uses my faith in Christ to further emphasize this point. Like you see the hostility that is implicit in this argument here, at least if you're looking at this from my perspective. Now, maybe he didn't intend to do this. Uh, maybe he himself is a hurt person, or maybe he himself is just com- confused about how to use the language and to convey an idea with grace and uh, uh, love. But that was something that got me a little bit upset at the time. I'm no longer upset. I forgive you, but I said, you don't pay taxes, no sales taxes, gas taxes, property taxes, payroll taxes. You don't pay tolls or excise taxes. Does the money you use to buy things with not deflate in value due to central bank monetary expansion, inflation taxes, parentheses. Uh, This presumption that you have, which seems to say you can't love Christ if you pay taxes, is unreasonable. Even the Amish pay taxes. Look, everyone pays taxes. And if you're not paying taxes directly, you're paying the tax on the behalf of corporation and businesses, which pass on their tax cost to you. And so if you buy something from anybody, even if you don't directly pay the tax on that, the people that you're buying this stuff from, they're going to be paying the taxes. And so you indirectly are going to be causing the government to get tax revenues. I mean, this is just a consequence of you existing in a nation state. There's no getting away from this. So it's unreasonable to uh, hold somebody to this standard. Uh, you know, you can't love Christ, basically, if you live in a nation state, is what he's asking here. I mean, that's certainly you see how unreasonable that is. Tony says, uh, Manuel Mateo pays because there are bad cons- consequences. Uh, you don't, question mark? Well, it's not only just bad consequences. I mean, there have been bad consequences to me doing this channel. I mean, it, there's no reasonable or rational excuse as to why I'm doing this channel. I mean, <laughs> but I'm doing it out of a sense of duty, uh, but economically speaking, socially speaking, uh, career-like speaking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe even spiritually speaking, you could say. Uh, there's no benefit in me doing this channel. So it's not that I'm, I'm paying these taxes to avoid bad consequences. There are many things we do, and we're fully aware of the bad consequences of doing them, yet we do anyway. The reason why I pay taxes is is because it's impossible not to. <laughs> you understand? Like, living in this environment where there's a tax on everything, you're going to pay taxes, okay? There's no getting away from that reality. And look, even if you find some way to avoid paying all of these taxes that I just mentioned, you're going to be using dollars, presumably, to pay for some things, And if you're using dollars, you're going to increase the value or you're going to increase the demand implicitly for those dollars, which increases the value of those dollars, which makes it so that central banks have more value that they can get out of the dollar by printing more, which is is a tax. I mean, it's an inflation tax. So you, by virtue of using their money at all, which is kind of the point of this channel, we're trying to get people to not use their money, but you using their money to begin with, there's a tax to that. You understand? Because you're creating demand for the dollar, which means you're increasing the value of the dollar, which means that's more value that the government could steal through inflation, through printing more, through the inflation tax. So what was, yeah, and this guy says, under under Caesar, what is Caesar's? What he chooses to do with it from there is on him when judgment day comes. I think that's a good argument. Thank you, last son of Krypton. Thank you, Tony, Tony. But here is his next comment. Here is his rebuttal. I'm not referring to non-consensual taxes. I don't even know what that means. Non-consensual taxes. Taxes implicitly are non-consensual. They're extortion, as you said up here. But, okay, let's see where he goes. Which are added onto gas and products at the store. I'm referring to taxes that one has to go out of one's way to pay to the criminals masquerading as the government. Now, let's let's break this down, right? I'm referring to taxes that one has to go out of one's way to pay. So, did you go out of your way to buy the laptop that you paid sales tax on, that the corporation probably paid other taxes on in the process of making? Did you go out of your way to buy that laptop, buy this phone, to make this comment? 
Okay. Did you buy that with dollars? Could you have maybe bought that or bartered on some Craigslist website for that laptop instead of going to Best Buy? Okay. Do you eat food you otherwise could go out of your way not eating because maybe that food has a sales tax on it? Like You understand what I'm saying? So this is ambiguous. This is all subjective. I'm referring to a tax that one has to go out of one's way to pay. Like, it, it's not clear what that means. I mean, he's talking about income tax, but again, if you're working at a job as a contractor or an employee, you're going to have payroll taxes, which means you're probably going to have taxes withheld. Okay. And if you work as a contractor and you don't withhold your taxes, the people that you're contracting with are going to send a form to the IRS, which tells them, hey, I paid this person this amount of money, which means that you can expect to receive this amount of taxes from this person. Unless you're just doing everything under the table. And I'm not saying that that doesn't happen. But, like, come on. What are you talking about? Going out of one's way to pay. The criminals. If I do some work on your house or in your garden, you give me 10 sausages, do you recommend that I give two to the tax man? Now, maybe, again, he doesn't understand anything about taxes. You don't give sausages to the tax man and maybe he meant it as a joke maybe he's just like being cursive but um look i mean do you need me to explain this to you i'm not responsible for what you do with your sausages (laughs) i'm not responsible for what you do with your money i'm just telling you me being on camera to the world makes it so that i have to tell people to comply with the law please have some sympathy for this Please have some mercy for this. And please appreciate the work that I'm putting out to try to get people off the system to the best legal extent that I can in buying Monero. Now, there are people that I've worked with who have bought Monero, who have bought Pirate Chain, that I have helped them in regards to taxes. Okay? Just because you're, quote-unquote, off the system, I'm going to continue to say that does not mean that you can evade the law and not follow the law again because i'm a tax professional because i'm on camera and again please please have some sympathy for me um i know that the government is evil i know what they do with the tax money but look on a practical pretext if they don't get your tax money which i don't know who you are but whatever tax money you give to the government they're going to spend it in less than a millisecond it's totally immaterial. What beast are you starving with your tax money? Are you Donald Trump or something? Even if you were Donald Trump, all of Donald Trump's taxes get gobbled up by the government within minutes. It's immaterial. All the money they need can be printed out of thin air and then could, in effect, be stolen from the future generations, which would then have to pay those taxes. Now, future generations, quote unquote, I mean, the whole system is going to collapse at some point. It's going to collapse whether you pay your taxes anyway or not. Uh, So who cares about this stuff? Just stay out of jail and do what you can to spread the love of God, to uh, tell people about Monero, to tell people about gold and silver, and do other practical things. Like, it's insanely, insanely impractical what you people are suggesting here. Do you understand this? This makes no sense. You're telling me as... Somebody going out into the public to do good, hey, do this small immaterial thing which will make no chance no change at all that will get you thrown in jail. Do that, and then maybe I'll give you some credibility. Uh, I mean, come on, do we really have to talk about this? But I suspect I will get more compliments or, or not compliments, more critiques rather in the future in regards to this. So I just want to lay the case down for you. So level up, he says, taxation is theft. I buy my gas from an Indian reserve where there is no sales tax or fuel tax. I do everything I can to avoid and evade taxes. The law is meaningless and has no merit in my life. Not true. I don't even know what to even say about that. Meaningless and has no merit in my life. Okay, well, you're going to follow it anyway. They have guns. I never agreed to follow the law 
So why would I? Doesn't matter. They have the guns. I'll do what I think is right and live a moral life in doing so. And look, I fully support that. Uh, tax evasion is a moral obligation. Guys, I, it would be really appreciated if you did not comment these things on Monero videos. I mean, it's just... Have you guys ever heard of optics <laughs> before? Um, I, I'm not going to delete these comments because I'm not about deleting comments. But uh, just it might be wise, ladies and gentlemen, to not comment on Monero content and say, hey, I love Monero. I do terrible things with it. <laughs> it's just like, good God, please, for the love of God, could you guys think a little bit more strategically? Um, so, yeah, I, I made a response, and he had a nice comment. He said, uh, I'll keep an eye out for the video response. It is easy for me to speak out as I'm not putting myself out to the public. And so he's sympathetic at this point. Um, I'm grateful for your channel, brother, and the work you are doing to inform others about Monero. So, um, again, you're probably a good guy. Maybe you just didn't uh, think these comments through too much, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, and I believe there's one more comment that I had received from Awkward Area. So, taxation is theft. Okay, and again, just if you don't know my background... Um, in my home state, I was the state chair for a libertarian organization. I'm not going to name that organization, but I have done many things in regards to libertarian activism. <laughs> I have been in those spheres for many years. And I'm not saying this to be prideful. I'm not saying this to say I know more than you. I'm just saying I'm aware taxation is philosophically theft. It is non-consensual. Um, and this person wants to inform me about how the money is used to bomb innocent women and children in foreign lands. So kind of trying to make me feel bad about uh, saying you need to comply with the law on camera. But this person's name is Awkward Area. I, I don't know what she does for activism. I'm not going to say she doesn't do any activism, but this certainly doesn't help. Uh, as well as impose illegal lockdowns on us. Why would we allow criminals to steal our money to use it to kill innocent people again because they have the guns I mean do I need to continue to say this unless you know that but are just trying to say to pay tax to avoid problems well what do you think so um, I apologize if I seem a little bit testy in this video uh, this isn't the only thing I'm struggling with in regards to this channel um, I just do find it a little bit disheartening uh, that it's like we're undergoing an unprecedented Luciferian level global takeover by some incredibly evil people. And there are many people going out there to try to fight this. People who are terribly imperfect, as everybody knows, like Chris Guy and Alex Jones and uh, you know other people in the alternative media and other people maybe I completely disagree with but think they're actually doing something useful. Um, all of us are sinners. All of us are terribly imperfect. And I keep getting comments like, how could you support this person? Have you checked out this video of them? Or uh, have you seen these tweets that they made in the past? It's like, dude, it's like we're landing on the beaches of Normandy and you're coming up to me and you're saying, hey, uh, Matt, you've got something in your teeth there. You mind if I... And it's like bullets are hailing all around us. You've got bodies just falling from the sky because they've just been blasted with artillery. And here you are saying, hey, Matt, did you shave this morning in accordance with the uh, code and procedures in the handbook? Like, do you guys know how to make friends? Do you guys know how to make alliances? Do you guys know how to give morale to each other in a time when all of us are under attack rather than nitpicking people about just... I'm just going to say it's stupid things like this. I mean, this is ridiculous stuff. Please, guys, please, 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 please recognize when people are on your team. And this is one reason why I scarcely, I scarcely associate myself with libertarians anymore. Like, they want to argue about theoreticals involving open borders and closed borders. Meanwhile, they're country doesn't even have a border anymore 
it's imploding and they're being morphed into a global, you know, mark of the beast, totalitarian, satanic system. And they want to, you know, finagle around as to how roads would work in a free society, how intellectual property would work in a free society. Uh, uh, would this uh, uh, be a violation of property rights if, uh, you know, I release this shape of a looking bottle and there's another looking bottle that looked like that? Like, I can't believe people are spending their time doing this. And look, it's okay to do that stuff for intellectual exercise. I understand it can be interesting. For some people, it's like a hobby, you know, and I, I sympathize with that and I understand it. But to get riled up over this and to insult people and to attack people and to question their faith in God and to do things like this over these things, which in this moment have absolutely no material impact on anything. <laughs> I don't understand this. I don't understand this. And this is one thing that I was upset uh, by when I saw Doug Tooman come under such unbelievable pressure. Now, it's unfortunate, in my opinion, that he caved to the pressure. But I thought it was just unbelievable that here is a guy who has spent years of his life to get the word out about Monero and how it's a real fungible currency, how it's a way that people can get off the system to establish parallel economies and to fight back against this terrible evil taking over the world. And he says this, he says that. He invites this person to his conference that he's having for everybody, right? And people just freak out. They call them all these names. They say, this is why we shouldn't support these kinds of people from the Monero community who make videos. And, uh, you know, they they make us look bad. And, uh, you know, I lost respect for you, Doug. And it's just like, who are you? And do you see the bigger picture? And, like, for Haven Protocol, people get all technical with me and they bring up the past. It's just like, dude... I'm rooting for Haven because I think that what they provide will have a lot of utility in a world where everything is surveilled, where you have insane people who have taken over the world, who want your money locked up in assets that can be easily taxed, that can be easily inflated away, easily controlled. Maybe they determine who you can spend your money with, who you can't spend your money with. And so I look at Haven Protocol, I'm like, cool, more options to have private assets. Awesome. And then people are like, dude, are you abandoning Monero? Don't associate these two together. What are you doing? Do you know nothing? It's just like, do you know how to make alliances in what is increasingly becoming obvious to be a situation of war, a theater of war? And I don't know that a lot of people do. Maybe a lot of people just don't understand the situation that we're in. And I have thought seriously, like, why even do this channel? Because I look around at the crypto community and it just, there's so many armchair quarterbacks. There's so many anonymous people who just get riled up at the smallest detail that people miss and and it's there's a lot of spiritual weakness and furthermore there's a lot of wickedness in these crypto communities and i was not aware of the state of these communities uh before i started this channel a few months ago because i uh you know didn't have a youtube i didn't have a facebook or a twitter or anything i was i read books Look, that's what I did before I started this channel. I liked to read books. I read articles online. I hung out with my friends. Like, I did not spend time talking to people on social media. Why would I do that? Uh, I'd rather just be left alone with my books and my real-life friends. And, uh, like, it, it has never dawned on me to be part of any online community. And I'm not dissing anyone who is part of an online community you do you uh but when i started to be aware 
of just how fallen the crypto community was just like oh this this can't be saved i mean perhaps there's no point to me even doing this because the reason people haven't gone into monero is because the numbers aren't going up and perhaps chris guy was right about that when he did his conversation with doug he said perhaps the only way that monero can be stopped is because everybody's focusing on number go up and they can just suppress the price by shorting it which seems to be what's happening and yet People aren't paying attention to it. And people are coming out and they're explicitly saying, yeah, I'm not buying Monero. I don't see the value in it. Number ain't going up. And this is pretty much the argument behind the guy uh, from Trader University as to why he favors Bitcoin over Monero. Yeah, Bitcoin's going to go up more than Monero. More network effect, more people getting in, institutional money, blah, 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 right? So I don't think that we're in an aware enough state I don't think we're in a high enough state of consciousness to realize the value of this um, I know that many of you do and you are in a higher state of consciousness and frankly like these people who are commenting that I'm kind of ragging on right now uh, like Zenor and uh, Awkward like you're in a higher state of consciousness I understand that than probably most of the people in crypto um, and so don't let that be lost I'm not trying to be overly hostile or antagonistic but uh Man, it's it's tough to go out there and try to sell this to people when the only thing that can get them to buy in, despite the thousands of bullish cases that we made here on the channel, is if the numbers going up, right? And that that's something that I noticed like a month or two ago. It, it's like I would release videos about uh, you know AI being integrated with tax and blockchain and whoa that's pretty freaky let's get into private crypto or uh, yeah it looks like the two tiered uh, medical apartheid is coming where you're not going to be able to go into shops unless you have the COVID passport and you have the health passport <clears throat> so maybe black markets are going to become popular for people to get things they otherwise uh, can't get if they don't have the medical experiment and I was making all these points which were perfectly valid points I think they still are uh, but they didn't get as many views and they didn't receive as much attention as a video that I put out that says, hey, uh, Monero's about to go nuclear. Or, you know, Monero's about to go sky high past a key technical level, right? Those are the ones that got hits. So that tells me, you know, maybe people aren't interested in the fundamentals anymore. And I don't see why they would be now that I think about it. The entire edifice of the financial system has changed. Investing in everything. Uh, fundamentals don't matter. Because um, <clears throat> it's just about making money. And there is an element of pride in crypto where it's just like, oh, bro, I'm making so much more money than you. You have no idea what you're doing. So it's not even just greed. It's also pride mixed in too. It's just so degenerate. And they're making money off like Squid Game Token and Come Rocket and Adult Entertainment Hub Coin, like what started out as a sector, a group of people saying, hey, this technology could liberate us from global central banks and liberate us from this loose, fair, and takeover, kind of like the perspective we have right now. Like that's what Bitcoin started as. That's what all of this started as. Uh, it's a group of people that said, hey, this technology could really change the world and bring a lot of freedom to people. Look at what it's evolved to. And it's like with my time that I have left, I'm trying to re get people to revert to that, to buy this. It's like, is it worth the effort? Maybe it is. I mean, I've met a lot of great Christians out there, and I've met a lot of you. Uh, we've had good conversations. We've had really meaningful conversations, and I've learned a lot, a lot, a lot from you. I mean, this whole thing has been an adventure. I mean, I've learned so much because of a lot of things that you guys have sent me. Uh, there's a dude yesterday who commented on my video. He's like, Bro, you talk about privacy, but you don't use Linux. I'm not a tech guy. Like I just said, like I, I live in a mountainous area. I read books. <laughs> you know, I 
hang out with my friends. I go to church. I'm not a tech guy. But he's like, check out Linux. But didn't even know anything about Linux. Some of you are probably giggling right now. Like, what? He's talking about Monero. He doesn't know anything about Linux. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I am. Because, like, again, the tech is cool, but I'm trying to stop a loose fair and take over here. <laughs> like, it's that simple. Some people are into crypto for different reasons. To get rich. They love the tech. They like the community. Whatever. Dude, I'm just trying to stop the Antichrist from walking the earth. <laughs> and I'm trying to play a little part in doing that. Uh, but maybe I'm making a mistake in putting this before the reading of Scripture, putting this before my own need for repentance, uh, it, because this certainly causes me issues with pride as you can imagine because i think our videos are awesome <laughs> joking they are uh, but um uh, yeah i mean I, i'm just kind of ranting at this point but i i do want people to understand that yes i'm very sympathetic to taxation being theft i cannot say to not pay your tax on camera uh, and i hope that you all will have mercy upon me and i hope that you all will forgive me for choosing this practical course of action so that I can continue the channel going so that I can continue to get what I hope is meaningful information out to you. Uh, and that's all. I think that's all I have to say. I think I could say more, but I just kind of went into a stream of consciousness there and I hope that you guys got some interesting thoughts out of this. I can't believe I went for 41 minutes. That's a long time. That's a long time. So anyways, uh, that's all I have to say. I think I'll come out with a video tomorrow and wish you guys happy holidays. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll be back after that. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's it. Today's a good day. It's Sunday. Hope that you guys enjoyed liturgy or church or whatever you attended today. If you didn't intend, I hope that you at least had a good day. <laughs> and in that case, Mateo, God bless. Goodbye. Have a good one.